Well, welcome back, one and all. I hope you're all well, and welcome to the third session of the World Championship Final between Mark Allian... Allian? Who's Mark Allian? I haven't a clue. Mark Allen and Elliot Slesser. It is nicely poised at five frames to two as we head into this session. Elliot needs three frames to win the Betfred World Championship. Will he get them three frames today? We will have to wait and see. The introductions have been done for the next uh, interval. We are back for the next day's play. Let's get the boys on the bays and see what the next three frames have in store for us in this fantastic final so far. Thank you, the eighth frame. Elliot Slesser to bed. So, frame number eight in this uh, session. And Elliot uh, has lost two frames in a row now. It's actually the most frames he's dropped in a match since the uh, the tournament started. He dropped a frame. Well, he was uh, perfect against uh, Ryan Day. He dropped a frame to John Higgins, a frame to Stuart Bingham, a frame to Judd Trump, and now he's dropped uh, two frames to. Uh, our mate here. Our matey. Hmm. If he can win this frame, I don't see a way that uh, that Mark can come back. Because if Elliot gets the That's seven, an excellent safety. then we can start to celebrate. And he may have left this red. He did leave this red, but it's one of those he's got to play with a lot of side to try and make it. And I, I <laughs> he's got to play this perfectly and hope it goes in. If it does, then obviously he's laughing. Well, I wasn't expecting that. It looks safe in here. And it did. So, oh. Mark Elliott can get off and uh, underway again now. If he takes the blue, my only concern is what red he's going to be on. Because he's got to find a red. He's got to find a red to be on. Good queuing required here. And he, look at this. Look at the action he's about to get on this cue ball. you got to hope this blue goes in. And that's why he's uh, changed his mind and gone to the yellow. Who, who in that moment really didn't blame him there? Well, Plays it with some uh, top spin. He's on one of these Great two technique. reds on the side here. Superb queuing. Now, my question would be, is the black available? Three. Okay, the black's available. <coughs> oh, hunky-dory days. This oh, happy days, even. At the right pace. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. We'll soon see if the black's uh, available. Nicely positioned for the black. That's tight. Four. He thinks it goes. If he thinks it goes, hey, go for it, mate. He's going to try and split the pack up at the same time. That's a good split. Split the He's pack up. That red here. 10 towards the corner. I think he's got a red into the middle pocket, folks. 11. And a red into the middle pocket uh, never hurt anybody. He's actually got a red into the corner as well. He's taking this on. In goes that red to the middle pocket. Now, I don't like the black a lot oh. here. However, I do like that blue. And if he gets this blue right, he could be on a red uh, into the corner and get back towards the black. He is, so I'd assume Sorry about that. Folks had a, a bit of a stretch there. Great technique. Superb queuing. 17. But the uh, 
Well, he's looking at the potting this into ball the right is in. pocket. Tremendous shot. Really impressive queuing. 18. Nah, <laughs> the pink and the blue are too close to each other, so he's going to take this yellow. Yellow come and stun down the table. I would have personally stayed up there to have that red in the uh, in the top corner. But that that's 20. that's me. That's uh, that's me. That is that could have uh, easily gone another way as that uh, red disappears in. Still the pink and the blue are tied up together. So he's having to take another yellow here. And sooner or later, taking these yellows, he's going to run his luck out. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. But you never know. Sooner or later, he may actually. That's an uh, excellent pot. He may what actually come good. There? Really good. Twenty-three. Is he on that red? No. So he's having to look at this red, around the pink spot here. Or well, he's even looking at the red, uh, the other side of the pink spot. Does that pot? So does this that pot, pot into the right corner? It certainly does. Now, he can use the chance here to get the pink back on its spot. 24. Nope, he's looking at the blue. He's a stubborn one on this pink today. He's an expert long potter and he's taking this on. He may even be playing for this red. Simply yeah, he's played wonderful. that purposely for the red up in the uh, top corner. Plenty of Playing this with plenty natural of power. Uh, spin to take the ball around. And Nicely he's going to be on possibly... Good position to take well, on this you what, Is he on the pink now? 30. See, that's... Now he's on the pink. He was just waiting for the right time to get on the right shot, wasn't he? That's why he knows these things better than me. 36. Although, uh, what have you played for here? What has he played for here, folks? A red into the middle? Are you sure? Well, he's taking the red on. I don't know if that red pots or not. Hey, if That's it does, shot. all the well power played. to you. He's queuing extremely well here. And it did. 37. And has he, has that black got an angle to get through somehow? It certainly has. 44. And if by taking the red he's about to take on here, he clears up the black into one pocket at least. And I say at least. Forty-five. Yep, he's on the pink. My only concern, though, is after this shot, what uh, what red's he on? That, that's going to be my only he's uh, this into the right my only pocket. concern. Fifty-one. If uh, if I'm being completely honest. Excuse me. Now, has he played around the 52. angles here for the black? He certainly has. And he's having to think about it. Could he play this in such a way to get on this red under the black? And finally... Finally... Free it. 59. I think that's what he's thinking, folks. This he's red thinking. required. Uh, that's a he's thinking. And that shuts the door on his opponent. Black in disappeared this up the table. And believe it or not, it may still 16. be possible. But he's uh, going to go for this blue here. 
60 we in know front what a with uh, he is, 59 so I'd assume on the table, on. so that blue practically makes sure of it. Now that's a top shot. 65. For a change. <laughs> He's playing for the right corner here. In it goes. 66. So, take it easy now. He can't pop the pink. He also can't pop a red. He has to play a pot of colour right now. Well, can he pop the pink? He's aiming for the left corner here. Ooh. That's awfully tight. I take this yellow and then come down the table. That's, Excellent. Uh, that's what I'd do. He's got a he's got a red uh, loose 68. in the cluster here at least. Oh, and he split the two reds on the way through. That uh, worked Decent out pretty nicely. If he's on, on the pink here. as well, that uh, works even better to his uh, his cause. So this pot into the right corner. We'll uh, we'll soon that's see if uh, that's the 75. case. As uh, the red goes into the corner pocket, just about. Now he's on the pink again. Oh, he might be a bit too close to the cushion here. Seventy-six. But believe it or not, being close to the cushion could help him. In fact, he's going for the blue here. Up and down uh, real test the bottom queuing. cushion. Blue goes That's in. That's a great demonstration Elliot's, of his uh, finding some form again. 81. Not good for his opponents. Actually, I should do that. Because uh, I know he's he's turning into one of my favourite YouTubers. So, uh, the guy knows who he is. This one's for you. Playing this with a lot of... Who boy! I'll leave a link. Uh, I'll leave a card in the corner for uh, you all to go and view uh, Hot Lettuce's channel. Because uh, his channel is uh, fantastic. Only the colours remain. Probably one of uh, the newer channels that uh, I like watching a lot. 90. Oh, also, I should say, I forgot to mention, Happy New Year, everybody. It is, uh, nice it is the 1st of the uh, January today. Happy New Year. 93. Happy 2021. Let's hope 2021 is much better than 2020 was. Because I think we could all agree, 97. 2020 was pants. Or as uh, Eric Cartman said, no 2020 stop! Here. I can't, can't do it this early. What a sense I can do the other one. Well Eric is big! 2020 step my buds! <laughs> uh, top spin on this pink to get up towards the black. Going for the right centre pocket here. And this will be for a break. What will this be for a break of? 108. Uh, 115 if this so black goes this in. Pot into the right corner. And it does for a break of That's 115. And Elliot is now 6 2 up in the third and session. Frame. Thank you, the ninth frame. Mark Allen to break. Frame 9, and uh, look at that. He's left a chance. He's already left a chance. Is. The cracks starting to show, Mark He's Allen. By this red. I hope That's they are, because uh, if they are, then Elliot's about to punish you. One. And punish you quite royally as well, I might add. Now, will he get past... I don't know if he gets past the red to uh, execute the shot he's about to play here. Which is why oh, he's looking at the blue now. Blue is going to come down uh, and do it uh, the other way. Let's see. 
If he can screw Long down towards right this red, that would be awesome. Well, and excellent. I think he's on it, so that's uh, not bad. Played Six. it very well there. Now, if you can get low on this black, then he's got the right angle. I think that's uh, just about going to do it, that angle. Seven. Looking to play this with a lot of power. In goes that really uh, black and now, or you want a red? A real opportunity. Maybe. Fourteen. Maybe, I think, is the answer to that question. And the red is on. I mean, it's not an easy one. It's going to be into the middle pocket, and he's going to have to play for another blue. Tricky pot coming up. Great I think shot. that's fine. Great queuing there. Fifty. He can uh, he can play for the uh, for the other blue. That's uh, perfectly acceptable. He's uh he's 20. looking uh, imperious again. As uh, he looks at uh, this red. Now, does that red pot? Oh, that's got to be tight, he's hasn't it? To sink this into the right corner. I don't think that pots, you know. Or however, the more you look at it, the more it may actually pot. That's why he's taking this uh, one underneath it. Great shot. Position looks pretty good to me. It went in though, 21. so uh, fair play. He's just going to have to make sure he gets uh, the right angle this time. Because uh, if he doesn't get the right angle, then he will be in a, a heap of trouble, as they say. 26. Yeah, roll through this, uh, roll through the red. He's aiming for the left corner here. And uh, he'll be nicely on the black again. Nicely done. He seems full of confidence at the moment. 27. My only concern is what red he's going to be on. So he's going to play this with a lot of top to try and get through. He's uh, going to nudge off a red here. And he's got a red into the middle 34. pocket. It's uh, not a bad red either. He can uh, play for a blue, play for a black, play for something else if he fancies it. Who uh, who knows what he fancies? Thirty-five. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone else has got this problem because I've got um, I've got another problem apart from uh, a bit of a uh, bit of the old sniffles coming along. I keep Nicely thinking done. I'm smelling something burning. 41. And I'm the only person in this family that thinks he's smelling something burning. I did look it up online. It's called uh, Phantons... Fansomnia or something like that. 42. I don't know the uh, the quite the word for it. It's where you're smelling something that's not actually there. But it is rather annoying to think that 49. I'm in a room here and I'm smelling something that's burning. So we'll stun this red in. He's going to try and get out onto uh, the black here. Use a bit of reverse side to try and uh, complete the job. Fifty. In it goes. So now, what are you going to play for? I think you may have to play another little cannon here. Tell you now, if he goes seven two up, simple. you can't you can't see a way back for Mark Allen. Hmm. Could have played 57. that a little better, Elliot. I think. 
I think you could have played that a lot better. Then again, I'm only the Just guy behind the microphone. See the left corner pocket. Tremendous pot. He's lost the key ball touch here. Oh, well, too close to the cushion here. So he's got to roll this in. He's got to play for that red on the side cushion now. I don't think he wanted to play for that red on the side cushion, but I don't think he's got a choice now. 63. The only saving grace is the natural angle is going to take this down towards the black. He's taking on the pot along the cushion. He's played that very he's well. He's low enough on the black here. He may 64. be able to get something on it for one of these reds into the opposite corner. So just well, the black needed. I'm not quite sure if uh, and that effectively shuts out his opponent he's able to frame. do that or not but we'll see yeah we, I, I thought this red uh, potted now he's got to place the screw here to get up for the blue and then hope that he's able to do something about this cluster of reds he may be all right at the moment to stun this in and play for that loose red. And that's uh, that's exactly the shot he's uh, he's just played there. 77. In it goes. He stunned it through for the black. I think he may be straight. I 17. think he may be straight here. Oh, no, he's not. He's just off straight. But uh, it's not easy, folks. However, that red above the pink 85. may pot. <coughs> it he's may pot. This up into the if it right does, middle pocket. well, he's free the shot. pink. 86. Now, how are you getting onto these uh, two reds here? I don't even know if these two reds Challenging go into the, the uh, here. corner or not. 92. That bottom red goes into the uh, middle pocket, though. Scrapman's coming around in the old iron. Lots of power in this shot. In the old oh, iron. 93. Why? why? Somebody, somebody please explain to me why people come around when I'm recording. This looks relatively... Am I the brilliant. only person that ha this happens to? Brilliant century. Yeah, pop this red uh, into the middle 100. pocket from the looks of it. Pop it. <laughs> He's this got a 100 noise. break as well. If it goes in, this is going to be a break for 135 plus. Oh! 101. Well, it was going to be 135. It may be a lot less now. Actually, it's going to be for 138. Tricky pop, no doubt. No, I was right, 135. I can't count. The yellow goes... Well, it wiped its feet on the way in. I'm not sure what happened there. And he's come out into shot. the uh, middle of the table for it, so... 103. Fair dinkum. As they would say in Australia. G'day, mate. Just the colours to go. That's a top Pop shot. another well uh, tinny on the barbie. 105. I've probably just offended Trent Cornell with that Australian accent. So uh, in recompense from my disgraceful Australian accent, I will put his card in the corner. I'll go visit my man. Uh, Godzilla. And uh, all I will say is prepare to laugh your ass off. 112. Because he, he, he is so hilarious. So I'm going to roll this set. Oh, stun run through for the uh, pink. 117. And this is going to be for a break of 130. He's aiming to sink this into the right and, corner. And uh, Elliot is on the hill. Off two cushions. He needs one frame to become the world snooker champion. Can he get it done? What a clearance that was. Super oh, we're going to have to wait and see on that one, folks. 
but uh, seven two. Thank you. The ten frame, Elliot Slesser to break. So frame number ten. Could ten be the lucky number? I think he's uh, hit them reds. We'll soon uh, find out off referee uh, Paul Collier. And indeed he did hit them reds. Oh, that's a terrible break. But Mark Allen's got away with it. <laughs> Mark Allen has got away with it, folks. Elliot's going to have a think about this now. What What would... What would you do in this uh, in this situation? He's having a good old think about it. You could come off a couple of cushions. I was going to try and pop this behind uh, the black here. I, I I I like this shot. Give the old safety advantage uh, up slightly. You've covered a red that you wanted to. Let's see what uh, let's see what Mark Allen does. He's gonna play a bit. We're gonna have a bit of a tippy tap here. Ooh, I thought that red went. If that red had gone, let me assure you that Elliot would have jumped on that. He he would have jumped on that with uh, with pleasure. As Mark Allen almost goes in off now. Nope. I thought that uh, that red would have potted. Now, you you can see he's having a he's having a good think here, and that is because, like we said, Elliot is on the hill. He'll want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. He just needs one more frame to win the World Snooker Championship. So you may see him start to tighten up just a skosh, tighten up everything about his game, and there's the mistake. Mark Allen's made a mistake here. And Elliot will capitalise. So this is uh, his first chance to win the uh, World Snooker Championship. Is that Position white got a bit too a far for the black? Nope, still, uh, still good. To the way he's playing, he may be playing for a screw here around a couple of cushions. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? And if if it is uh, to be the uh, the championship, I think we could all agree this has been a hell of a journey between uh, myself Eight. and Elliot Slesser. What started off as uh, a bit of, I think you'll all agree, a bit of a joke. We were we were having a laugh, we were having a joke. He was uh, he was Captain Dipshit as. Uh, we all knew him as this red, and then uh, then he became the That's Geordie Juggernaut. Outstanding potting. What about that for a positional shot? And then after Perfect. the Geordie Juggernaut, he Nine. he just became. You you guys wanted to see him come back, and uh, I promised you uh, as soon as um, the F one started with the NASCAR that he'd uh, he'd come back as the pink uh, rolls in. And in it goes. And, oh, uh, wonderful shot! I, I see it, seriously mean Fifty. this, guys. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, for everyone who's uh, who's watched the Snooker uh, Nineteen Career Mode, thank you so much. He's playing for the right corner here. Well, because I know uh, I know a lot of you. Uh, wonderful shot! Call it pool. Sixteen. But it's not pool. It's snooker. However, um, you, you've all shown it uh, a lot of love. You've shown it. Uh, Playing this with plenty of power. A lot of respect, and I think uh, I think we're getting the uh, the just rewards now. I don't. I think also think 23. that might be end of break. Unless he takes a red into the middle. He's gonna have, if he wants to continue this break, he's gonna have to take it into the middle. Oh, he's gonna try and hold for the 
the blue here. Well, it goes. Half a chance We're here. We're right behind it if it goes in. And it does go in. Now, what colour are you on? Well, you could be on the green. You could be on the brown. He's looked at the green. He's looked at the brown. He's now looking at the blue. I have no idea what he's thinking here, folks. Someone, uh, someone kind of explain this to me. What's he thinking? Pace is very important he's here. Playing safe. He doesn't want to underhit this. Okay. Elliot Slesser, twenty-four. Is there a reason he's played safe here? Well, what was that shot? Touching ball. Mark Allen has. Has he just committed suicide there by playing this shot? Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. <clears throat> the red's in. Beautifully done. He's flicked off the blue. He may use Wonderful the blue pot. here. Outstanding effort. If One. he doesn't fancy the blue, he may use the old... Uh, may use the old uh, green, but no, he's going to go for the blue here. So Elliot gets another chance. He's got a red into the corner available. If uh, if he so fancies. He's actually got this one into the middle pocket. I didn't uh, think he'd uh, gone far enough for that. In it goes. Seven. Straight on the blue, so it's just going to be a simple screw back. <clears throat> Don't stop, well. never give up. Hold your head high and screw it back. Just embarrass myself by singing S Club 7's Never Give Up. I'm putting uh, Don't Screw Back. 13. <laughs> Uh, right, Elliot, you need a you need a red after this, mate. Where are we going? You going for the green? He's going for the green, folks. I can't see any problems here. So he goes the green. There is a red, uh, the red to the left of the pink there. That's uh, available. 16. All depends on what Pace he wants to play important. after this one. Down it goes. Now That's that black is uh, not easy. 17. I think he's... Yeah, now look. If, if he stuns through the gap, he'd be able to play for the red that's underneath 24. the pink. Yeah, he can't pop that. So he's playing for the red underneath the pink here. He'll uh, roll it through. Just wants this pop to drop And be on the, the black into the opposite corner. And you can start to see that uh, the pieces are starting to uh, come apart here. Still plenty of points on the table for uh, Elliot to uh, mess this up. Not that we think he will. Nice uh, run through there on the ball. So he's got another red. So this red puts him 57 in front with 68 on the table. 67 on the table, sorry. So he'll need another red after this black. Or pink, I should say. And I think we all know which red he's going to go here. for. So this red to become world 39. snooker champion. Or this red to become world snooker champion. Just the red required here. Get in! In it goes. And that should be it. Past the point of no return in this match. Oh, you can hear them cheers oh. up in Geordie land, man. 
They'll be swinging for the chandelier in Newcastle. 47. Oh, the Geordie's done good, folks. The Geordie's done good. I'm not going to go ape shit like uh, like we did when Jackie won the championship, but uh, certainly I think you'll all agree this has been an absolute fantastic journey we've all been on. It's going to be coming to an end today. 48. And it's going to come to an end with Elliot Slesser becoming world snooker champion. He's looking to pop this top into the left lad, corner pocket. Man, top lad. In goes the pick. 54. And I meant in goes the pink and not what you thought I meant then. <coughs> Excuse me. Could go for a double, Elliot. Why not? He's <laughs> Oh, they, they can't stop him now. 55. Th this is fun time now. As uh, Judd Trump would have done, this is naughty snooker. Naughty snooker! <laughs> this looks pretty simple. It's the kind of snooker you see after dark. On, a, on an 18 plus rated channel. 58. Where you see parts go into parts. <laughs> <laughs> the w one person will know exactly what that joke's all about. Red's in. 59. Oh, uh, he's going to sign it off in style, I think. Sign it off. Come on, let Elliot, let's sign it off with a century. Let's do it. Come on. I think he's playing this with a lot of power. Sixty-six. Uh, what what can we do? Let's see uh, how many people have got this far and uh, nicely onto the colour. Sixty-seven. And love what they see. Let's have um, hashtag champion Geordie. And Geordie, for anyone spelling, that is G-E-O-R-D-I-E. -E. 73. Let's have a hashtag champion just Geordie for getting this far. Now. Yellow into the corner, just about, Beautiful. and it screws off the uh, side cushion. They'll be back on the yellow uh, momentarily. Oh, no, he didn't need that. It was a uh, green... <laughs> 78 Brown In goes the brown Blue, pink and black 82 To complete what has been a fantastic career mode A fantastic series on the channel 87. I'll be uh, announcing at the end what's going to replace Snooker 19. Because uh, F1's so going to go three times a the week. Right corner. Every player dreams of becoming world champion. And that dream is about to be a reality. And this black 93. to sign off in style with a break of 100, folks. Slow this rolling it in key. as well to savour the moment. Elliot Slesser. World snooker champion. Very impressive. 100. Frame and match. Elliot Slesser. And that's it. He's that's it, my man. Punch the air. Look at the smile on his face. Great players. You've never seen anyone smile so much in all your life. Lifting that trophy up high. Kiss that trophy as many have done before you as well. And uh, Mark Allen was just thoroughly, thoroughly outplayed. Absolutely thoroughly outplayed today. All right, then. Without further ado, folks, let's go and uh, let's go wrap this career mode up. We'll announce what we're doing next. Here 
is the champion of friends. <laughs> Get him, Elliot. Get them, buddy. My hat would come off to you, but uh, then you'd all see my uh, my hair's an absolute mess. Fifty five hundred and one thousand in the bank. One four one break as well. There is the end of season summary. He's won 13 tournaments, finished as world number one, won three unranked tournaments, highest rank was number one. He's earned two million in prize money this season, had 21 highest break awards and the 147 quite a few times as well. What a season, what a story, and we get to do a new season if we wanted to, but we're going to do that all off screen. Because we're going to get the rest of the trophies um, for that. Uh, which means we start again here at uh, the Kaspersky, Kaspersky Riga Masters. But hopefully a few tournaments now we don't have to uh, do. So, that being said guys. <clears throat> you'll have to excuse me, I do apologise. Uh, starting next week, we're going to play Until Dawn on Tuesday. We're going to finish off Until Dawn. You deserve that finish to that wonderful story. Then we're going to start Death Stranding. The um, the poll results were that uh, Death Stranding and Detroit Become Human one were leading the way, so I thought, play them both. So, three days a week, F1 2020, then you get Detroit and Death Stranding, and they'll do alternate Tuesdays and Thursdays. 25 likes on the video, 25 likes for Elliot becoming champion of the world. Do get subscribed for more F1 2020 and my T-Career mode. Detroit Become Human, Death Stranding, Marvel Spider-Man, whatever we play on Sundays. I know this Sunday is going to be Jurassic World Evolution. Stay safe, be kind to each other, you can't be kind, be quiet. Thank you all so much for the support on this Snook 19 grim mode. It means the absolute world. We'll see you tomorrow for Marvel Spider-Man. Yeehaw!